Hi, my name is Noah Snap. Um, this is going to be the first of a couple of different tutorials. Um, I hope to just accomplish um, basically uh, set up Maya so that uh, you're able to create a basic biped um, model. We're going to model him, texture him, um, rig him, and animate him. And it's all very simple. Um, I'm going to work a bit faster than if I was uh, showing um, teaching teaching the lecture, I guess, um, explaining everything. Uh, so I'll just kind of work a little bit slower than uh, a natural pace. And um, I first just want to make sure that you guys have everything set up correctly. So um, I'm going to be using the trial version of Maya. This is Maya Unlimited. Um, and you can download it just by going to the Autodesk website, just autodesk.com, and I'll take you to... Uh, whichever region you're in. Then you want to go to Maya and um, product trial and you're going to need to fill in your uh, information right here and I guess I have somebody else's information but um, you're going to need to fill in your information there and you're just going to be able to download Maya and installs. It's going to ask you for a seal number don't worry about that just uh, hit next and it's a 30-day trial Maya. So um, once you get Maya up and loaded, uh, you need to do a couple of things to make sure that you're ready um, for and, and that your project will go all according to plan. First of all, uh, you want to go up to File and Project and Set. The reason why you want to do this is because when you make a Maya project, you need to make you need to have everything be self-contained in a folder so that textures, um, files, everything links up properly. Um, I made a folder on the desktop, which is Boxman, and I'm just going to hit choose. And I'm, I'm running Maya on Mac. Um, everything will pretty much look the same versus Mac PC, so don't, don't worry about it. Um, some people freak out with uh, cross operating system stuff, but don't worry about it. Um, so if we go back to the desktop, we can see Boxman has a couple of uh, folders in it. It made a scenes folder, an assets folder, and a workspace. The only thing we're really concerned about is scenes. Um, we need to add a few folders in here, but we're going to do that through Maya. So go back to Maya, File, Project, Edit Current. And in here, you just need to fill in a couple of the, uh, in, uh, couple of the fields. Just scenes, images, source images, I'm using the camel style of um, uh, naming and let's see textures down here at the bottom and those are basically all you need to fill in and you, if you uh, click accept you notice when you go back to the folder it creates those folders for you and all is good um, if you work on different computers make sure that you always open up a new scene and then set your project project set and choose your folder, then open up your scene. If you don't do it in that order, then um, basically you're going to lose some uh, your links, and it's going to um, textures might not show up, things might not be linked correctly, and bad stuff could happen. Um, so uh, next thing we need to do is make sure some plugins are um, loaded properly. So you want to go to Window Settings Preferences Plugin Manager. And you're going to, um, first of all, if you have any custom plugins, uh, basically the, like the Actor X plugin, um, which is used to export Maya objects to UDK, uh, it should usually be up here. Um, but we just want to make sure that we have Maya to MR loaded in autoload. That's the middle ray uh, renderer. And also OBJ export. Um, that's for exporting object files. And uh, though everything else should be good. Um, again, by the way, this is uh, this this might look a little bit different from your Maya version because this is 2010. I 2011 just came out um, when I made this video. Uh, I personally don't like it too much. Um, it's very buggy on Mac. Uh, so 2010 has been um, fine for me. Um, so uh, next thing we need to do is I use the hotbox. Um, and in Maya, there's tons of options. Um, there's tons of different ways to do everything, but basically there's menu sets up here 
and depending on which min menu set you're in, you'll notice that up here stuff changes. Um, and that's according just to like what you're actually uh, doing. If you're in the polygon menu set, you know, you're going to get different polygon functions like combine, separate, or weld faces together, poke face, anything like that. Um, and this, this option right here will change your shelf. Your shelf is are these options. I just like to leave stuff on polygons. I don't normally use the shelf. Um, or the menus up here. I use what's called the hotbox, and that's if you if you hold down spacebar, you get this. But yours will probably look like probably look something like this. Maybe a couple more options. The way to get all the options is you want to click and hold on hotbox controls and drag to show all. And now you get all of these. The convenience of this is that you have all these menu sets right here. All the menu sets that you were getting up here, um, but you don't have to keep switching your menu sets. So um, see how this mesh edit mesh proxy normals? It's right, uh, right there. So you have everything conveniently in one spot, and you don't have to look for every. Um, you don't have to look. Remember which options in which menu set. Um, also, if you notice on the hotbox, if you click in on Maya, you get all your different views, and this is again left clicking and holding, and each quadrant of the hotbox does something different. All right. So now that we have our um, scene set up. Uh, I am going to uh, end this tutorial video and go on to the next one, which is going to be modeling. Thank you.